42-year-old Susanna from San Jose, California writes, I'm interested in doing hand modeling. I've been told I have nice hands. I plan on keeping my day job, so any guidance that you can provide would be greatly appreciated. Hi, I'm Joe Edelman, and you're watching Model Mondays, where each week I'll do my best to answer a question from the hundreds of emails I receive from people like you that want to know more about the business of modeling. This week, Susanna from California asks, how do I become a hand model? Being a hand model is not as easy as you might expect. Obviously, you have to have good hands. Having good hands for modeling means that your fingers are long and thin. Your knuckles are small, which means that you didn't crack them a lot as a teenager. Your cuticles are perfect and your nails are nicely shaped and well cared for. You need good skin. Scars, birthmarks, freckles, moles do not look good in photographs. Crooked fingers, short fingers, wide hands also do not make a good hand model. And your thumb needs to look great as well because it will appear in just about any shot with your hand. You also need to be very patient and have steady hands. It's common for a hand model to have to hold things for a very long time. And for television commercials, you may be required to repeat tasks and hit your mark over and over again. Bottom line, a hand model has to take incredible care of his or her hands. Regular visits for manicures, proper diet and water intake are crucial. Moisturize your hands and always file your nails, never clip them. It's a good idea to keep your day job, Susanna, as there are very few markets that would allow a model to make a full-time income as a hand model. Outside of New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago, there's not a high demand for hand models. Given that hand modeling is a very niche market, I would encourage you to first contact modeling agencies in your area to see if they have a need. If there is a need for hand models, just like any other modeling, you will need a portfolio of images. I hope this information comes in handy. That's all for this week. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and take a second to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you have a question about modeling that you want answered, post it in the comments section below. Your question could become my next video. Until next week, if you have a passion for modeling, be sure to visit my website for loads of articles about modeling as well as the most complete modeling agency directory online.